Hi there, I'm Craig Muirhead from pipingclub.com and today we're going to work through writing a tune um, for those who haven't maybe done that before for the bagpipes. Now there are lots of different ways to write music, in fact there are no rules for writing music, um, but in this instance we're going to go through a bit of a structure that would help someone who'd maybe never written a tune before to do exactly that. Um, so all you'll need for this is some manuscript paper which you can get from uh, signing up to pipingclub.com I've got some on there in the resources um, You'll need a pencil and a rubber um, You'll need your chanter and if you're anything like me you'll need a cup of tea to go along with it So um, we're going to switch the camera down to the manuscript paper here um, so you can see what's going on and hopefully by the end of this little session you'll have uh, your own little tune that you've written. Okay, so to start the tune here we're going to need our treble clef. We're going to need our F sharp and our C sharp and then we need to pick a time signature so in this case I think I fancy writing a little 4-4 four, four march. So what I then do at this point is I write in my bar lines so that I don't run out of space. Remember the full part here. So that's two lines. Um, and then the idea here is that we're going to come up with a structure. So it means that actually you're not going to have to write that many different bars of music to come up with a tune. So what I mean by that is here you'll have bar one will be A, bar two will be B, bar three will be A again, bar four will be C, then you'll have A, B, and then we'll probably end up with a D and an E. So you'll see that bar A comes in all the way through the tune, uh, all the way through the first part, as does B. So um, an idea here uh, would be for this 4-4, four, four, we'll say we want to go... Da, 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 da. So we're going to put in a rhythm here. Now when I'm writing, at first, you know, it can be quite untidy because I'm really just trying to uh, get things into place. Da, 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 da. So... I don't put my um, grace notes and technique in first, I just leave it as it is. Um, so that's bar one. Um, so bar two might be, the B sort of section might be. Da, 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 da. And there's no right or wrong here, you can just muck about, you know, it's trial and error, you just put in the notes that you want to put in, um, muck about on your chanter. So I would then listen to this on my chanter. So that's bars A and B. Um, the next little uh, phrase is going to take bar A again. And then, you know, for a for a end of line, we're really just looking for something quite simple here. Um so we might just go for a B for two. Again, we're not looking for anything too neat here, but see how quickly that, uh, you know, I put that one together because I already had my bar A from here. 
And then we just added in a little sort of end of line bar. <laughs> And that leads nicely back into uh, bar A again. Da, 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 da. And then we're on to B again. So we already have our B line, our B bar, sorry. Da, 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 da. Da. the same as above um and uh we're on to a d here so they were into the sort of final phrase we're bringing the part to a conclusion so we might change it up a little bit um and we're pretty much going to want to end on the note that we started on to bring to bring everything round you know uh to a nice conclusion um so we might go Da 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 So in a very short space of time there, we have a whole first part, you know, full full first eight bars of the tune, and they sound like this. stuff um so now we're going to move on to the second part of the tune just for good measure i'm just going to put in my treble clef again not a very tidy one um and my four four and my two sharps just to remind me what key signature i'm in and what time signature i'm in i'll draw in my bar lines again so we might start with an f bar so when I say F, you know, I don't mean I don't mean the note F. I mean that uh, you know we've used these letters to describe these uh, these bars. So we're now on to um, you know we've had an E here, an E bar. So we're now going to use F. But then we'll go back to B. There's a lot of time in pipe tunes these um, these bars repeat themselves. Um, you know, and ideas from the first part will come into the second part. So you could have F B. F um, and C again, and then F, B, and then you're going to go D and E. So we're going to take these two bars. So actually, all we need to come up with here is an F bar, because these are all featured in other parts of the tune. So we can even write them in just now. Dai da dai dan dai. Um, and then the C here is B. The only difference with the C might be we might not play these two, the C and the B here leading back down to bar A. We might um, play leading notes that actually fit in with what um, bar F gives us. So we'll leave that blank. And then the final two bars will be the same as it often is the case in pipe music. Again, this is not the rule, this is just an idea um, for those starting out in composing. So really, all we need to come up with to get our second part of our tune, we need to come up with a nice uh, F bar. 
which will slot into here, here, and here. So we could go, uh, talking of Fs, not that it has to be on an F, but we could go, So that sounds... And then we'll bring another F bar here, so exactly the same. Um, and down to the B. And we left our sort of little lead-in notes here blank because it wasn't going to be the C and the B from the C bar up here. So we'll go a C and an E. And that leads nicely back into bar F. So who knows, this might not be a classic, um, but it's a nice little tune that we've put together and it might be a nice thing to do for a gift for a parent or a grandparent or family member or a friend um, for a birthday or something um, or an anniversary, always nice to put a little tune together. And it's just a basic idea, so it's really, what we're pointing out is the structure that you can use. Um, I've used letters to, you know, describe these bars. You could use numbers if you wanted to, but the idea is that a lot of, in pipe music, there's lots of repetition and that these things can repeat themselves. So you come up with a bar A and a B and you're well on your way to having a good tune because, you know, it all fits in. Um, so just to quickly make it a bit clearer as to what, um, as to what structure we've used, excuse that pencil. We've gone for bar A, bar B, then you repeat bar A again, then you have bar C, then you repeat bar A, bar B, and then you're going to finish off with a completely different two bars here, bars D and E. Then into the second part, we've got bar F, bar B, bar F, bar C, bar F, bar B, bar D, and bar E. So if you write something for each of those letters that fits in with, you know, that fit in with each other, then you're going to have yourself a little tune. So I hope that's pretty clear for you. Then obviously we go into adding in um, our grace notes. Obviously that's up to you. You want to keep them the same. Um, if you've you know used grace notes in bar A here, then you want to use the same grace notes here. If you want to repeat the parts, you're going to put in uh, your two dots here. And here as well. Excuse my sort of untidy scribbles here. Um, and then what I do when I'm finished with the tune is I'll put it into um, I'll put it into a program called Sibelius uh, on the computer. Now my friend Kyle Howie on his YouTube page has got um, a great description of how pipers can use Sibelius for them. But there's lots of other on um, sorry, lots of other uh, programs that you can use. Well, there you go. That was a really easy way to put together a little pipe tune. Hopefully it worked for you. Um, and remember to keep referring back to the video if you've just you know, missed a little bit um, of the idea of the structuring and things. What we'll do just to finish off is I'll play through the tune um, and I'll put the music up that I've uh, produced on Sibelius on the computer, the, the program I was talking about. Um, and it shows you how sort of easy it is to put a little tune together like this. 
on the chanter. Remember, this is not the rule. It's just a way that you might you'll be able to start your sort of journey with composing. So here we go. Here's the tune. It's untitled at this point. Hope you enjoyed it all um, and I look forward to hearing some tunes that you write. Please get in touch with me on info at pipingclub.com if you need any help or if something hasn't made sense, I'll be happy to help. Okay, so thanks and we'll see you again soon.